That wasn't too that bright. wasn't too bright. The next label play the next prepare label for battle. Play. Your name offends your name offends me. Oh, hello, hello. Thank you so much, uh, panel. Get out of here. Stop talking. You guys were already hiding at the beginning. Trent, we are here. Game number two, and our panel lost their damn minds because they're saying Venomancer's going to win a game. I can't yeah, they, believe uh, it. They lost their chairs, too, I think. They kind of vanished there. <laughs> Slinked away at the end. Then. Is that a lack of confidence here? Maybe it's because they realized they went for Venomancer. That might have been it. Yeah, I, I, uh, I just can't believe it. I can't believe that Venomancer is going to win a game right now. Um, it is nice against the Axe, at least. Yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting hero. It is very annoying for the Axe. I would think that that's probably the last matchup that they're hoping for here, and currently that is set to go forward. And uh, OG, they're bringing it back. As we discussed in game one, if it is there, they will be taking Earth Spirit and Morphling. It's going to take more than one loss to stop it. I don't even know if two losses begins. will do it. I guess we'll uh, possibly find out after this one as Midwan dances his way onto that bounty room. They got it. When the little chase down, look at this. DM in some trouble. Can don't they get, get denied? Oh, 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 no. <laughs> Midwan's the one that gets the final touch. Um, so a nice little start there for the Chaos Knight. Um, we, we've seen this hero kind of make a bit of a comeback, as Lacoste was alluding to a bit in the offlane, but in the South American region, uh, they've been kind of playing Chaos Knight in the, the core position, position one as well a little bit. What do you think of it? Is it with the eggs when they run at one? No, no. no. It's been uh, I think uh, armlet stuff. this is almost certainly going to be an eggs game. I would guess, based on how uh, OG play, that uh, it's all about like essentially enabling Topson. And uh, I would guess that their, their goal is double morphling. Seems reasonable. I, I think that it, uh, it sounds pretty terrifying if they're able to get it. Uh, as already, it's just going to be save as Epileptic Kid made the run up top to try and avoid that matchup you're talking about. Oh, that's an eye there. <laughs> an immediate tip. Okay. And then they're going to throw out a stun to be a bit of a butthead. I love it. It's amazing. Already, the uh, the mental games are beginning in this one. Yeah, the, uh, the goals of Seb are fairly similar to last game, uh, but more so just like always being glued to the lanes, right? Just uh, ensuring that uh, maybe that same sort of level of speed doesn't come out from Virtus Pro. Okay. They were pretty quick off the jump last game. It was very impressive, and uh, they had the defensive options, but Venno offers a lot of defensive options for yourself. Thompson, wow, I actually would not have guessed that he's had uh, that many matches in the mid. Or sorry, in the outside of the mid on Morphling. That must be uh, from a while ago. Yeah. Yeah, it is kind of interesting because we've definitely been seeing it more in terms of just straight up uh, mid constantly making things happen. You know, it's interesting. I think that there's also going to be a bit of a mentality thing going on here. Like, we've talked a lot about how hungry VP uh, Virtus Pro is in this, uh, like, for a win. They got second, they got third, they got second at each of the recent tournaments. You know, they got knocked out by Secret and Secret and then Secret again. Oh, um, wow. <laughs> so, Imagine losing to but, Team Secret. Jeez. I know, but, like, they were able to knock them out earlier, and now they've won their game in a grand finals in a really long time. I, I want to see if they can keep up the momentum from last game, and um, already it appears that they're doing a pretty good job of it. I, I, it would be really cool to see Virtus Pro be able to come away with this one um, as they don't quite connect there with the stun. GPK still trying to put the pressure on the top here. Oh, I've had some clarification from JJ. That was overall this pass. That makes a lot more sense. 71% okay. of all Morphlings are safe by Morph. That makes a lot more sense. Aha, the glowing is for where Thompson is. Thompson's preferred lane is mid. Aha, thank he's just, you. He's just built a little different, you know. Ilias, he's gonna he's go down he's gonna there. Be. They get a good chunk of damage out, and that was just the uh, easy little rundown. Oh, yeah, man. first, like the first blood was important enough with the Gale because uh. you're leveling Gale, but then to get another kill with two points in Gale, it's like kind of risky, right? To like not be investing in the rewards. You have to make sure you're getting kills. But that's right. the whole point of having the Earth Spirit. Like, that's why Venomancer is actually such an interesting hero. I know he's like kind of viewed as a little bit lame, but I think at least he has varying skill builds. Except don't die right now, man. Come on. Oh. There, see, Gale should. Oh my god, he's sticking around. He, he has to. crazy. Oh. That was sick. Oh my god, barely walking away. He got his boots delivered as well. And now Ilias is going to get chased down. He does manage to live through it. Now the Mold Sam goes. 
Evelyn can try to get it. Steps back and away. Another Gale. He runs in, but not quite able to connect with it. Rolling Boulder forward, trying to catch Ilias. It's just the battle of the no lifers up here. Oh. Everybody's almost dead. Can you imagine if he died while he was tipping? Oh, was okay. going in again. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, mm. Sam? You're crazy. Nice play by Epileptic Kid. I uh, got no regen. I wanted to die. Fortified. Got a couple kills. Maybe that's why he was taunting so much. You know? Well, rotation coming in mid. Trying to find GPK. A little bit off the mark with a right click. The fairy fire, though. That extra armor and regen from the tower. Is it enough to keep him alive? Finds him in the tree. Held your feet to the fire. All right, the cloud shoes are on right now for OG a little bit. As they give two back pretty quickly. Damn. And uh, GPK versus Curry Rat. Eh, it's on its way. All right, so he's not too bad of a spot. The bottle's on its way out. I like to see it. Thompson can really pressure here, though. He's a regen rune, so... Not a lot of concerns for him in this uh, current moment as he shotguns his way back to the high ground. But down bottom, as you're seeing, mid one. Still duking it out here with DM. And Enigma's actually going to head out. He just straight up TP's top to catch the range creep. And is going to start helping out that lane. So I guess just trying to get a little bit of farm on. We talked about how good uh, No-Tail can be in this game. I mean, the last pick Rubik does kind of hurt, though. Uh, we'll have to keep that in mind. Save should have a pretty good time as they're going to get three bounty rooms on Virtus Pro. Want to get there a little bit early. Oh, ah, no. but they won't. Oh, they give it up. Okay. Socks, they got the roll in. Yeah. Well played. He was probably trying to hold it for um, GPK. Mm, that makes sense. Nonetheless, uh, as far as the early laning goes, the main thing is mid one is having a much better game than he did last time around. Double bracers already for the CK, uh, along with wand and some boots. Yeah, he's quite farmed at the moment. Mid one, man, DM is just damage. not getting the spins. That was four units attacking him, and he got two spins for a pretty sustained duration. But I think they might just get him down bottom, although they're also going on Epileptic Kid up top. And they find his kill on to this spend here. The roll-in comes through, trying to maybe find a denier. They could just see if they can find a kill. Right click? Oh, well played oh, by Ilias. Take well, and his away from infinite wisdom, uh, 50 and followed the correct fight because they didn't get the finish down bottom. And now Soxa Radiance gonna hurt. Yep, you got the kill on the save. <laughs> Almost went down. Okay. They managed to kill two heroes, but one of them was denied. So that sets us up for it. Again, a little bit just crazy laning stage early on. Oh, bottom, mid one. Tries to get him. Gonna pop the ulti. DM, that just creates more illusions for spins. And now Epileptic Hit shows up the stun. It's gonna be there in a mid one. One more touch. Gets the finish. You blow yourself a knife. I mean, that's a rotation. Gets out of a uh, pretty annoying lane. Comes down, gets a pick. Onto the most firm hero in the game, and he's gonna actually eclipse him now because of that. Really nice. He's gonna be able to get that with the uh, catapult taken down. Are there any stacks really being built up right now in the jungle or anything? It does look like they've got ancients. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that's the only one. Can get him again. He did. Oh, get the northern pole. Man, that timing's tough, really. Is. Yeah. Oof. Very frustrating. Okay. Uh, very much needed. Uh, they could also really use a Laguna kill because this is the whole point, at least one of the best parts about having the, the Lena in this matchup, right? They have the OBS over the small camp. He sees what Thompson's doing. He'll probably TP mid and smoke with save, perhaps. Mm. Uh, they don't actually have one. Save is bringing it on the courier right now. But that's your, your usual play. And Toss is just trying to serve it up. He says, you think I care? I'm coming for your farm, man. I got a DD. You taking your neutrals way to do it. Jason, Laguna, comes out trying to get the mid one kill. Oh, can't quite connect. Is under attack. Yeah. yeah, and as you said, missing missing that one really hurts uh, for GPK. You'd love to be able to make some other type of play here. I, I like that he went bottom because the obvious play is going for the morph lane because it's just like the way that you view this, but missing out on the CK because he's obviously much tankier. Like, it's the reason why it works so well on the morph lane, so took a bit of a risk in that situation. Yeah, and it's frustrating. I, I mean, so this is one of the things when I was thinking about this draft, like, I don't like the Venom pick, but I also, I, I've really felt like Lena mid can, if you're, if you're like not just snowballing, feels kind of bad. Um, I don't know, we'll have to see if she can find some more kills moving around the map. Yeah, if she doesn't pop off, this quickly becomes an all-in on Sven draft, right? Because you have an Axe who basically just creates good fights for the uh, the Sven, but doesn't necessarily provide a whole lot of damage. Uh, and then you just have double support enablers, so... 
It'll be, uh, I mean, mind you, the guy's 3-0 on Sven. He looked really good last game. I'm willing to put my eggs in that basket. They're already kind of given him the, the treatment. They're sending Soxa constantly in. Seb is here as well. Has the 2-2-2 build. Ilias nearby. The roll is going to connect. They pull him back in. They're going to pop the ulti. DM trying to look for some spins. Not able to get that much. Another deny possible to come out there. They don't quite get it. Mid one was able to finish him off. Now I left a kid trying to chase down Seb. With a good roll in from Soxa. It's going to cost him his life. They need to get ranged in. It's barely able to get there. LSA comes out afterwards. Trying to take down Seth, but they pull him in and away. And the TP out of there. Oh, he lived? What? <laughs> that wow. is insane. I thought that was going to be enough damage for sure. I mean, look at Alias. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Triple Radiant's kill for mid one. What a fight. Yeah, that armor reduction is still not enough to take down that spend. Radiant's oh, that was a lot of damage from mid one, about 2,600. Yeah. He is oh. feeling it. He's looking at the golden glove. Wants to Midas his way to victory. Feeling a little poor after that first game. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I, I'm, I mean, obviously Sven's amazing against uh, CK if he can get up there, but um, I'm, I might be a little bit concerned. Uh, I think he might be more than double his net worth of the last game at this point. I'm, I'm yeah. fairly certain that that, that that seems pretty likely with how <laughs> rough that game was and how harassed he was from the side of Virtus Pro. Radiant's it's true. Tower yeah, getting a free time attack. for himself, and now he's going to be able to secure a tier one tower as well. The one's definitely Radiant's having a better game. Um, but likewise, it feels like there's a lot of heroes that can, I don't know, fight uh, on this, this lineup from Virtus Pro. You're getting towards the Blink Dagger on Axe. There's still these Ancients that need to be cleared out as well over on the Radiant side. Axe has Vanguard too, so I mean, that, that could be for DM to get Blink theoretically, but Epileptic Kid's made it over and he's like, yeah, you know how this goes. I'm a spent man. Is under attack. Give me the uh, he actually just recut the trees. That's Radiant's nice. Help with the stack. Is under attack. Radiant's he's going to do it himself while his team takes the tower. So, uh, No Tail is looking for the Midnight Pulse walkout play here, perhaps. Okay. You gotta be careful. Um, well, he does have that black oh, no. as well, though. Oh my god. Moves in and stays on top of him. Sansa, they're all trying to run in. Gotta be careful. And they will kill off that oh, early. He's now looking for the black hole and catches onto two of them. And that's gonna be enough. They take down the Lena and kill Radiant's save afterwards. That was what a amazing. great freaking play. <laughs> no tail. He's like he's playing Beastmaster or something. He's just hiding in there, lurking, waiting. Damn, Cuts dude. the trees and makes the escape as mid one uh, hops his way forward looking for more. I mean, at the very least, Sven was able to clear out those ancients, so that was nice for Virtus Pro, but losing those heroes is tough. And that now a 3,000 gold lead for OG DM. Now they're moving in for him. Two seconds done, and now the beatdown's coming. DM goes for that taunt. The skill, oh, though. Jukes. Going to get strength four for the moment, but he's brought down. DM will die. He'll take down mid one in turn, though. So that's a nice little streak. And channel no tail. The chase down will be there. No tail. LSA connects. And they oh, overextend it on OG. Punish. Save got the uh, the morph, too. The, the attribute shift. Okay. Nice and beefy now. That's really nice versus Earth Spirit Venomancer. And even, I mean, I guess Enigma's not that great, but uh, definitely Earth Spirit Venomancer. There's so much magic damage he's now saving himself from with that. And still, you know, he's got one armor or whatever ish right around there. Yeah, I'm, I'm ditching all that at you if I'm safe, 100%. <laughs> I fully agree with this decision. Okay, this is the way to go, man. I like it. I mean, if you die, like if you get hit by CK armor, it does not matter. You're going to die anyway. That's a good At least point. this is going to help all those lingering Dyer's effects from Venom and Earth Spirit. Yeah. They're still not giving up this tier one tower on OG. Just trying to be as annoying as they possibly can. Um, still holding on to the 2000 gold lead as DM is going to run into mid one here. Who's still holding on to his Midas. <laughs> going to taunt in front of him. Oh, <laughs> did he actually I, just delay him by taunting so that Thompson could get in range right now? I think he did. Oh. That's insane. Radiant's bottom and they can't punish. The axe has an actual taunt. He, he just made a skill. Oh my god. Double kill for Thompson now. Okay. That, that one hurts. Uh, and OG are now trying to just barrel forward and they'll find TPK. Oh, the Selena Yule Scepter is there. Chase down not quite in time. Stun. They get away. They do have God Strength available if there's too much of overextension and 
really good of Epileptic Kid to make sure that GPK could get out. And they even dropped a sentry to block off the Ancients, too. I want to limit this farm here for Epileptic Kid. Radiant structures okay, okay. are fortified. Radiant's well, top tower Virtus is Pro. under attack. They're going to try and make this play again with the Yule Scepter up. And they need this kill right now DM. Oh, silence. Zoxa, well caught. And LSA is going to connect onto two as they try and back out. DM is going to be the one punished here. There is no way to keep him alive. His game is so hard ever since they lost that first fight pushing top. Like, if he wasn't going to be given those ancient stacks and going Vanguard first is just really hard this game if they're going to try and make plays. Yeah. Because that's a long road to blink after. And these fights being pushed in enough from OG, he just can't really engage in them. See if Thompson is overextending, hanging out down this area. But it doesn't look like it. The vision is pretty aggressive here coming out from OG. Ilias is hiding off in the trees there. Topson still sitting with the Invis rune, but reveals himself. And we'll see if he can get punished or not. Save. Walks right past the Observer Ward. If the Scepter lift up. He's got so much HP, though. This is really hard. Meanwhile, back towards mid. Mid one's still there. With the DM and Epileptic hit. And they'll ensure at least one bounty rune here on Virtus Pro. But... The, this lead is just growing for OG. Not again. All right, save is going to defend his uh, territory here with these wards at the very least. Seb wants to also get in on it. Okay. Oh, man, Venomans man, are so annoying to play against. Well, how close are we to a, a no-tail blink? He's around 900 or so gold away. Uh, epileptic kid trying to get set up here onto Thompson. This is just a really hard uh, kill the guy. I think he just wants to try and farm the wave and then back out afterwards. It, it, it feels like there just aren't that many moves they're capable of being made. Maybe if they can catch up from the trees here, though, with the rest of the team moving in. Okay, E Blade. Oh, they're trying to bait it. They're seeing if they can punish this. Thompson gets the soul fast break. And there's the LSA trying to find the beat down the car afterwards. Can they kill the pesky morph? They will. Virtus Pro connect and finish him off. It's a good thing they had all that there, or that was going to be a difficult grab, that's for sure. Radiant so, scanning. Very much necessary here. They're going to push in forward, try and get some D wards off. That sentry just misses. Well, at least drop another, probably. All right, good stuff. So he gets that down, but mid one doesn't want to let this go for free. No, he is a uh, long outpost TP though. Coming on home. They're even Four forcing him forward. forward. Jeez, I didn't know this item still existed. Dyer's top tower is Oh, they've seen another ward placed down here. Unfortunate for Virtus Pro. More staff is uh, not only a very good item versus the Sven, but it's really good when you have Venno on the team because it can, uh, it, like, it's already so hard to get on top of someone, right? Mm. And that's why it's, the first jump's always so important because once someone creates that space separation, the Plague Wards, the Gales, everything just slows you down and stops you from getting back on top of them again. So if you have the Force Staff, even if they have the perfect initiation, you just force your bud. And then he's going to have to, like, force them through that bog that the Venno's creating every time. Right. Well, and, and, and you I, know, you can force people in the black hole. Big place. Let's go. <laughs> there you go. That's the big play. Uh, they do just have that blink dagger done now, uh, but they do not have no tail with the rest of the team. They're going to invade this jungle. They run into epileptic. Here. DM is nearby, and they're actually just going to let him die. No way to save him in time. As DM bounces out of there as well. He is still around 300, 400 gold away from his blink dagger, uh, so and he's not really got any space to farm. That's a first phase Sven. Do you know how much physical damage he took right there? How much? Uh, 132. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're probably not going to save you, right? Like, it's just so much magic coming out. That does mean, though, that when this BKB is completed for the Sven, it's going to be super valuable. But he's still a ways away from it. And OG trying to take down Roche here. In this game number two, they are off to a hell of a hot start. 18 minutes in, 8,000 gold and the Aegis. I mean, Thompson was looking at, like, Dragon Lance into, like, half an Aghanim's last game. Now he already has the E-Blade in the same situation. He is extremely farmed right now, too. And uh, alongside mid one, obviously, too. And, yeah, very fast compared to the average. But good play by DM up here. He's going to cut and uh, kill some uh, some neutral camps for a little bit. And that gives him enough gold for the Blink Dagger. 
Uh, so that opens up an ability for Virtus Pro to fight at least. They've done a good job of sort of spreading the map out a little bit while Save also has the Philosopher's Stone. He's getting towards the blink. Like it feels like there's still avenues that they have to fight in a little bit here if they can buy some more time for themselves. And no tail, yeah. I mean, he obviously has to catch save every time mm -hmm. the black hole because he does not want to give that away, especially when you're Don't playing a support. It feels a lot worse, too. Scan, connects, they find save. Yeah, and they got slow bottom, but they want mid. Oh, that's good. That's double. Oh, he got okay. you. The chase and the runaway. No tails out of there, but they do kill off save on the other side. Okay, so yeah, mid lane. They were both clubbed right here under the tower in between with mid one nearby. And uh, it was a very fast duel from GBK. That was a beautiful save. I think he had just been. walked into the OBS vision too. Now, and they do get that one taken away. There's still an Observer Ward over here on the other side, which I think Ilias is going to D-Ward as well. So yes, no tell, take that one away. Yeah, no tell Smoke Pop. That's how he knew that, like, the second to Smoke Pop, like, within a moment, uh, he got Yule's stuff. so... Quick fingers there from GPK, but better defensive vision, as you pointed out, and they'll just, uh, eliminate that on both sides. Um, I mean, Radiant Defensive and Dire Offense. Radiant so Structures are fortified. 10k lead this time for OG. Yeah, they're they're cooking. They're cooking real fast. And if you're uh, if you're Virtus Pro, they they do basically just need to do this. It feels like push out these lanes whenever possible. Uh, they're at least getting some XP from that other one. Bounty rune golds are slightly in the lead as well. I kind of got to question what's that fight that they're gonna take that's gonna hopefully turn this around. And I guess it has to be around the next Rose fight, but they catch themselves another, and that is the problem with Lena Mid. Um, you just get absolutely wiped. Yeah, it's a double-edged sword, right? You're kind of hoping that you're going to be ahead and you're going to be doing that to the Morphling, but that's obviously uh, not what is happening in this game. OG, Radiance continuing to put the turn this on. Best of five into a best of three. Am I right, every caster ever? Put <laughs> his glasses up. <laughs> <a> classic line. <laughs> I always get old. Always oh, get old. I like that. It's a better one. I mean, they're 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 trying to do it best they can. And tier three tower going to fall here. OG still. What is this? Two minutes left on the Aegis. And they're gonna go forward. Glimmer cape afterwards. Lift needs to back away. Pulls mid one in. Gonna pop the ulti. And that is going to be a full set of racks, and Virtus Pro are just not interested. Oh, no right tail. He smoked up at the back line. He wants to play here. Him and Sogs are lurking. Yeah, they're super ready. Yeah, they're, they're, I mean, but nobody's showing. Like, they're, they're just all back here farming They away. actually both smoked. They're going through this ward. Oh, my God. Get away from there. DM. I'm going to find DM. Oh, he wasn't looking. He was not looking. And he's in some trouble. Doesn't have a TP anymore. Do it, no tail. He's thinking about it now. He's just going to scream in agony as his body departs this plane of existence. Poor DM. Oh, we have a fun graphic. That's it's where he's over. died. And his heat map. As you can see, <laughs> he's mostly farming on the enemy side because OG's on his side. This yeah. is not great news for DM. He was just like begging for scraps pretty much on the OG side of the map, trying to find that Blink Dagger gold. Man, his game got so ruined by those first couple fights. Yeah. Oh, save. Blink's in here, but can't catch Soxa. They just want to blow somebody up with this Lena, and it's not happening for them. All right, well, Reality Rift is minus six armor at the moment, and okay. save has it, so that is something to help out. Get the jump with that Bluffed Kid, right? It's a 10 second BKB, they're smoking. This is their moment. Thompson has like 35 armor though. Ugh, 20 seconds uh, left now. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't catch anybody. It's 20 seconds left on this Aegis, but it looks like they aren't quite going to connect yet. Although they do have this ward here. It's got a no tail heading the other direction. So they might be able to find him, but again, he's running away, just anticipating that movement and staying really far back as the Aegis expires. Yeah, I mean, it was good timing on the move, right? Yeah. Well, OG just completely circled exactly where they're standing. I don't know. Did they have a ward that saw that grave? Oh, the illusions. His, his illusions were farming this camp and saw the ward go overhead, I think. That's why they're scanning there, but they're just a little bit too late. BKB done. 
I, I mean, I don't know what else Soji need at this point besides another Aegis, but they're they're How ready about to another go. going. God, Look at that range, Jason, dude. That is so silly. Poor DM is gonna get caught. He's gonna get stunned. Tries to throw out the call, but he doesn't have anywhere left to go. Super duper dead. Dual scepters lift up, but the second spear was coming in for you. DPK, what you gonna do now? Trying to move in here. I'm left against him. Maybe chase down. Do they have enough damage? Ah, they quite. And there's gonna be the BKB used. And they still lose two in that fight. God damn. OG just looking too strong in this game number two. That morph's cast range increase is so crazy with E-Blade. Yeah. Uh, in combination Radiant with his nether shawl, it, it's just nuts. Radiant's like when he's in earth sphere form, it's like the entire screen. Radiant's top yeah, it, it, uh, we're starting to, I think this is part of the reason why this combo has been so good for them. Um, Topson just feels like he can do whatever he wants here. Safe. Also, he's really abusing runes a lot this game. Every time I see him, he's got one going, which it all started very early from the uh, 10 rune activates. Jeez, okay. Thank you. Uh, it's, uh, you know, that's a key aspect of Dota that sometimes gets ignored, especially with certain mid heroes, like how beneficial it is to keep control and vision over that area. Right. Like, grab it, go aggressive. Grab it, go aggressive. Over and over. I deserve it. And speaking of keeping vision and control, that's going to be four bounty runes for OG. OG are, are they're just in complete control at this point. And they've like sort of similar to what you were talking about last game from Virtus Pro, where they just were they were coming up with answers before the problems even existed. You got a similar thing with like Venomancer getting the Crimson Guard done. And, you know, then he's going for the Lincoln Sphere so that that way they can put it onto Enigma when he BKB Black Holes. Like they're, they're totally ready for this game and what's going to come. Uh, which means if you're a Virtus Pro, you gotta catch him off guard. Maybe that Aghanim Scepter for Sven could be part of that, uh, but it's gonna be tough. Smoke up. Who do they find? They're they walking right by wards. And Soxa, he's over in the trees. No, not quite gonna connect onto anybody. That is a tough one for Virtus Pro. And actually, they're thinking about running in here. They pop the illusion for the CK, the turnaround. Do they find anybody? Roll in, coming from Thompson, finds the jump right at the start. He's keeping out for Apple Life again. The black hole comes out of here. Catches on to two. There's no ball. No, no, black hole though. They kill him off for time. Thompson saves the day there just barely. But Apple Life might be able to do some more damage. Nice. Nah, he's just got to get out. DM is going to fall. Dude, that turnaround was so sick and it was almost amazing, but Thompson broke Radiant's him down. Yeah, there was some faith there from Seb where he's just like, yeah, this might get stolen, guys. I'm not catching the Rubik, he just went for it. But, yeah, 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 sorry, yeah. So off the last Seb game, went. Seb. <laughs> <laughs> Seb actually had the best, I think, at the start of that because he forced out the BKB instantly from the Sven because he got that four staff Gale off. Right. And then it's just like, well, I don't have uh, Aghanims yet, so I'm just stuck in play for now as a uh, Sven. Wow. Epileptic Kid, again, the only one really here to try and stop things, but they will connect that long-range Gale. So yeah, I had to double-check for a second. I, I clicked over and said, oh yeah, right. It's just tops and doing this thing. Ooh. So this is going to be another uh, potential Tier 3 tower going down. Oh my god. Whoa, <laughs> please! There, there. What a surprise. Save is a little bit of a clown. I like it. Yes, it's a bit of an unfortunate spell for a Rubik. The last one he really wanted of Chaos Knight, but it worked out in that case. He does have that blink dagger at least. Can they go again? Um, I mean, they've got Axe, but they don't have, like, so they have the low cost uh, initiation, but they need God Strength, which is 10 seconds away. Yeah, huge lead right now for OG. But there won't be a black hole. Feels like you have to punish that if you're a uh, your VP. Yeah, they uh, you know we commented on their patience, but OG have this like measured patience as well, where they wait for them to do something. You know, they're not just like running to the high. On it, God, he's so slow. He's gonna find the jump there. Trying to get the back lines now. Soxa okay. went in pretty deep and is going to get punished. Let the kid finds it and the dunk to finish. So VP find two kills and this is with Roche back up in five seconds. Okay, I'll leave some more. Oh, 
Oh, there, wait there. a minute. Confident. Wait a minute. Jumps in. Tries to blow him up. Stun. Oh, but he's in the midnight pulse. Thompson gets the kill there. Oh, LSA is going to connect. But mid one, the long duration stun is going to pull back Ilias. And mid one finds the finish. She was looking good for a moment, but OG. Kabash on that. They double Midnight Pulse them again. It's like a thousand damage for Midnight Pulse for those two. He's <laughs> <laughs> using those voice lines, switching over to other people. Um, well, you gotta flex when your own player doesn't have the levels, right? That's the best part about more flex. Well, we're 50 seconds away from that 30 minute mark, so they're gonna try and reclaim the outpost. Uh, but Sox is over there to interrupt it afterwards, so... Uh, that's kind of annoying if you're, uh, if you're Virtus Pro, is they're gonna also take Roche. Dude, if they can find the outpost and Roche... They find oh, him. blinked right into Sox. Silence. They have any follow-up? LSA, BKB out. Dude, he's gotta run. Yeah, and Sox is looking like he's gonna be okay here for the moment. Rolls in again. Hits onto the Rubik, which is an illusion. The bait was real. He's trying to chase, blink away. GPK. Barely gonna be able to get out of that one. Yeah, that quickly yeah, turned into a I don't want to be here situation for the Lena. And then Thompson's like, all right, let's roll out. Autobots. <laughs> she is definitely Earth Spirit Prime. I'm sorry, Sasha. It's not you, bud. Silly game. What what hero. I love Core oh Rubik. That's great. Core Rubik? It's better. It's like they took all the fun things about Rubik, put in a core hero, and made him cooler. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, call. He's done. God strength back up again in a second. How's this fight gonna go? Leptic Kid takes down one. Can they find it? No, he's just gonna TP out of there. Wise decision. But right now, it is all the OG show in this game number two. They have come up with some really good answers here. And now, gonna head on over towards mid. Another call with the flame mill afterwards, but no kill gets the big black hole. One more, though. He tries to steal it, able to turn this back around. Look at his own to everybody. And with Epileptic Kid hitting on the other side, they're gonna take him all down. Holy moly, he saved it. What a play. Yeah, call. Unbelievable. And now the call, the taunt. Can they bring him down in time? Follow up stun is not gonna connect. Thompson's gotta save the game here. Gotta get the hell out of here, but they won't be able to do it. All five fall. What a save from save. Yeah, no tell. A little too confident there, twice in a row now. So well done, save. First it's funny, we always talk about like, you can't do it. <laughs> you can't throw out the black hole without the Rubik. It's now just twice, no tell. It's like, I'm sure it'll be fine. But save, proving him wrong. Excellent play there from save. Uh, well, quite literally, save the game, yeah. What happened to the uh, the Lincoln Sphere? I thought they were going to throw that on him from the Venom. I'm not sure if Seb uh, got it. Had a, he obviously didn't get it all the time, yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that was the Aegis fight. Um, and a big turnaround. Dyer's Jeez, how much does that get him in terms of like XP and gold everything? I don't know. They were up like 22k before. Yeah. Also, I see some like pretty Dyer's close to 0% on that fortified. win rate. It's 2% now, Dyer's just so you know. Yeah, we're, we're making the comeback. See if it can Just happen. need another 95 seconds. And we can opt for another black hole play. That's an interesting point, right? Rubik is going to have it now for this next engagement. So uh, maybe an opportunity here. He's also queuing up an Aghanim. Yeah, big swing back there on that XP graph. All right, but, but you know, they could just be like, yo, no tail. Maybe. <laughs> just don't cast that. <laughs> just a anymore. thought here, dude. <laughs> But these fights might be a lot easier if you just didn't black hole. Well, and or at least like make sure that you're getting safe. I, I feel like that blink dagger pickup in this is one of those games where like getting that philosopher's stone was so key for Virtus Pro. You know what I mean? Like yeah. think about how different that looks if he doesn't get it. He probably doesn't have his blink in time, these other items to help him out. Hmm. Scotty done though on the more. And well, they're feeling a little shook right now, but they're going to run well, it. Well, OG are smoking up because they don't black hole. So, you know, they, they want to attack the enemy. I see. Makes sense, right? Yeah, that's the This TP was broken, so he'll eventually be brought down here. As mid one finishes off that axe. Does give a little bit of extra space for Epileptic Kid to get his farm on. And if 
If they have the control, the Fen will tear you to pieces. Both Black Holes gonna be back up again in 10 seconds. Radiant. Yeah, I love the axe that I just played chill. They, well, they have both wards and smokes, or uh, wards and scans rather, seeing this play here. First, they thought they were smoked running through there, and then they just see the giant rolling boulder, so. Well, the mid they one. the tops and looks nearby. Three seconds gone. Has the Lincolns on him. Radiant. Trying to force a bad Has that black hole available. The lift comes out afterwards. Laguna Blade. Point of connect. They're, they're kind of clumped. Gotta be careful. CK, they jump in. No no blame. Blame. But the black hole, he doesn't have blink on cooldown yet. He needs to turn it around, but it's not gonna come in time. Oh, Cole comes out afterwards. Save is nearby. Does he want to jump in with this? There's no spend for 70 seconds. It's really hard to make this work. Black hole comes out afterwards. But the stun is there. No kill. Save the day. And able to turn that around. He gives him the next level play. The buyback comes. But I don't know if they have the damage. With Sven dead there right at the start, that might have stopped it. Yes, Revenge of the No-Tail. Quite literally the next level play when you're canceling Black Hole as Enigma, I think. You know. Damn. Well, and I think that what was so good about that was like Rubik was forced to blink and then No-Tail was like, all right, he can't get me. I'm just going to Black Hole now. Yeah. Yeah, that oh. was a really good call on his part. Uh, oh, you know, he had some risky ones that didn't pay off that one. Even if you're like... 90% sure that he had that blink there. Could still be a little bit risky in that case, but definitely worth it. Um, yeah, yeah, I think you're right. I think he must have had the vision on it. Well, save. Oh, so, try and catch him. Lift up on the top end, but DM, he's got to find a big fall here. I don't know if it's, it's going to be enough, though. Hard spend still 20 seconds away as yes, Megas will be claimed. GPK trying to run out. So they're 10 seconds out. He's got to find the opening for DM. Can they get it there in time? The call gets on to nobody. OG are going to take this game. Unbelievable. As that is going to clean it up here. 100% win rate should be confirmed. As the call will come out, but they're going to roll in afterwards. Very, very well done. As they're going to set their sights now onto those tier 4 towers. And Virtus Pro forcing uh, every little bit of this from them. Yes, that'll be the end of the one one hundred seven streak. Oh, grab a left kid on his fence. Mm, true, true. It's just fountain farming right now. Oh, dancing, black holing, DKB in. Well, Dude, black they're not soon, they're sure. just waiting there. Oh, yeah, GG's finally gonna get called. OG gonna take game number two. Epileptic Kid wanna go in for one last ride. Uh, but he's gonna be punished as the game will end. OG, they found the answers. Yeah, that was a very nice adjustment there. The Venno pick, I think, did a, a great job of shutting down the axe. I think the Venno and the CK in combination, as much as the Morphling and the, the Earth Spirit, like their tried and true duo alongside the Enigma once more, uh, sort of like carries and, and looks amazing in that mid and that lake.